All right, there's a new attraction to the Snake River Canyon in Twin Falls. It's getting a lot of attention this week, probably because it's almost impossible to miss from the top or the bottom, one side or the other. And perhaps that's because it's almost as prominent as the Perrine Bridge itself. But it does bring forth a lot more emotion. No other place like it. It's one of the most scenic and most picturesque parts of Idaho. Yeah, you got the river. And the canyon it carved. The bridge. And those that jump off it. The bottom of that arch. There's even a rock to remember those that tried to jump over it. But this week, there's one more thing to see over the Snake River in Twin Falls. Old glory. In all its glory. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Stands for freedom, doesn't it? Yeah, it's pretty pretty impressive. It's like it's hanging there by itself. Except it's not. It was put there by the group Follow the Flag, who took three days to anchor it, hang it, and finally unfurl the largest American flag to ever fly. Hey, how, how big do you think that, that flag really is? Six foot stripes. Um, it's 154 feet long, 78 feet wide. It's over 12,000 square feet. It's a quarter of an acre. I mean, that's bigger than most mansions. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I can't imagine the weight, the weight of it. On the scale, it's 400 pounds, but its real weight is relative, considering. Why is the flag out there? Why it's here. For 9-11. Which is why the reaction to those who walk out here and see it for the first time. I got the goosebumps, it was, it really touches me. Is about what you'd expect. Big goosebumps, I'm not kidding. It's an emotional experience for sure, for many who stop by standing out there on the bridge and I thought about 9-11 and how heart-wrenching that was and said a few words and still right here. Like Tammy. It's, it's beautiful, it's amazing. Who moved back to Twin Falls to help her dad fight cancer. I haven't been able to leave the house much because taking care of him and got about a half hour. You could have done anything in this half hour, why this? Just um, to be honest, to uh, pray and hope. Does it give you hope? It does. Why? I mean, it's the flag. I mean, I keep going back to that, but I mean, it's, it's the flag. It's certainly enough for Gary. For those people that were lost and to represent freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That chokes you up a bit. Because I'm a veteran, I'm a father, and my grandfather. Last year, my bride and I, our last picture together was right here. She passed away last year. Meanwhile. Oh, so that's what it is. For someone like Malika. It doesn't really mean much to me, to be honest with you given my ancestral history <laughs> you know it's not like oh my god i'm so proud to be an american like no not really but it's cool to look at what does it make you think about it makes me think of my ancestors that were slaves that did all the work literally broke their backs to make this country what it is still not recognized how it should be so i mean that's a lot of years decades centuries to just be broken like that. I mean, it's just a piece of fabric to me, really. But I mean, it's cool to look at. But learning it was stretched across the canyon for 9-11. Yeah, that was rough. Kind of hits home. Lost two family members in there. It was terrible. We couldn't find my uncle for weeks, weeks. And the whole time he was down there helping people, we thought he was dead. So. That was rough. I mean, I understand for other people, this must be like the most majestic thing they've ever seen, which is great, that's awesome. But you have mixed feelings. I do, I do. But I mean, you gotta admit, it does look cool waving in the wind. And that's only the first thing Kyle hopes people notice when they see it. I hope that people, you know, have a new respect for the flag, that, that it, it, it invokes a, a spirit in them, um, you know, that might, have them stop and think of why that American flag is something that represents our country and what it, what it means, the, the stories behind it. I'm glad that there's people still doing this. Well, in case you're wondering, the flag will fly through Saturday morning if you want to see it for yourself.
and I know what else you're also wondering. How did they get it out there? Well, we're told a drone and a string to start, and then, of course, pulleys. Then they increased the weight of the cord until they got to the steel cable. Kyle Fox with Follow the Flag says hanging the giant flag began as a 4th of July stunt in Pleasant Grove, Utah, back in 2015. Since then, it's taken off, and they've hung a flag in six different spots over the last eight years. So will it be a regular in Twin Falls? Well, that's going to be up to the Magic Valley 9-11 Memorial, who is responsible for bringing it to Twin this week. And Maggie O'Mara is going to have more with them on Sunday, 7-0.